cover. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? It's uh, Monday night here, Frag and Tag, this is Wirebot or Filthy Wirebot 74 coming with you, coming at you, not with you, at you with a bit of a long video tonight, but this one is, as you can see, going back to when the Halloween event came out and it's Onslaught. Now this is a damn good game type and um, I look, I enjoyed this game mode, it's obviously where you rush to get the Juggernaut. And if you get the Juggernaut, you've got to carry it through with your teammates back to the enemy's base and go from there, or they can do it back to yours. Uh, quite intense gameplay, a lot of fun. It came out with a Halloween event, as you can see before I maxed out and so forth. But I wanted to make this video to say that it is the end of Modern Warfare. Kind of. Not really. Not really. Um... Well, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, well, it's not. Uh, they're doing it, they're adding it to Warzone, which is, you know, that's COVID related. I knew this was going to happen. Um, yeah, Warzone has been such a success. It'd be crazy for Treyarch or Activision or any of them to just go, nut. we're just going to start a whole new one. And they're working together from their studios and they are going to make, a, well, I'm not going to lie, a good Warzone. Yes, there's going to be cheaters, there's going to be hackers, but at the end of the day, we're used to it now. You play it for fun and go from there. And that's what, that's what saved this Call of Duty. I think they got this last update done very, very well. They did a very good job of that. They got the, uh, you know, they, they, they killed it with the Halloween event. And in my view, they absolutely killed it. So, as you can see, I go very, I go off here like two frogs and half a shock here, like, you know, with the first gameplay. But, you know, look, I just want to show the intro there. That intro was from the Black Ops Cold War beta. I'm looking forward to it. That was more like the, uh, big battle game mode. We're using the snipers. And look, I'm going to be honest with you, man. If you want to be good at, Look, if you want to do well at Cold War or any next Call of Duty's coming along here, you're going to have to sweat. You have to put up with sweaters, you have to change your gameplay, you have to change your style, you're going to have to... How can I put it? You're going to have to be a hell of a lot better than what you are now because you've got to really up the ante. Now, some people picked up on it quite easily, other people did not. Now, that doesn't come down to the fact that their PC sweats. A lot of console players, people, a lot of console players are now using keyboard and mouse with their Zims. They have been ever since pretty much the last Call of Duty, particularly uh, Black Ops 4, and they used it more so in this one. And a lot more people have been working from home or staying at home now because, you know, the whole COVID thing. So if they find a cure or people get out and the virus dies back a bit, you watch, there'll be less people playing Call of Duty. But we've had to put up with that. All the kitties stuck at home, all the sweat stuck at home, playing Call of Duty. And it might happen with Cold War first to start off with. But as I recommend people, definitely get a monitor. Good control headsets and you'll enjoy the game a lot more if you wanted it to be that competitive. If not, sit back enjoy, and enjoy and chill out because the new consoles are here. The load times are going to be quicker. Um, if your internet's good, the game's going to look better. It's going to be a lot better. I'm buying a new TV so forth. But I cannot wait because tomorrow, by the time you see the video, it's up late on a Monday night. Tomorrow, you'll be, I'll be grabbing the new Xbox Series X. I'll be setting it up. Now, I'm not going to stream straight off the bat. I'll see how it goes, get used to it and go from there. But a lot of people say it is a lot of fun. Um, if you missed out, I'll be brutally honest with, with you people, like if you missed out, don't despair, there'll be plenty more to come, and maybe it's not good to buy straight off launch, the reason I'm buying straight off launch is I've had a few little problems with my Xbox One X, and I want to upgrade, and rather getting that repaired, I jumped on the bandwagon and got the new uh, Series X straight away, so the difference is that HDMI 2.1 is not really out yet for monitors or TVs, it's not, so you don't have to rush straight off the bat, it would be nice, but trust me, in the new year there'll be more, and they'll probably be cheaper, and all the little bugs that we'll be putting up with, you guys won't have to put up with by the time you grab your consoles, still play with you, still do all that, there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever, so I'm really looking forward to that, um, the other thing is, like, I'm just going to say, out of all the Call of Duties, out of all the Call of Duties that I've had and played, this one is the one I've put the most hours and time into. This is the one where I've met the most amazing and supporting group of people in these trying times. It has been trying for a lot of people, and myself as well, and I have to say, from the bottom of my heart, people like Ron, Cody, you know, the Doc Clan, the um, yeah, the Xbox Live Clan, everybody I met recently coming into this Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I've known or got back together again, Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting my channel and my stream. It has been great, and 
I can understand why people fall in love with Call of Duty from back in the heyday. I can understand why people keep on playing Call of Duty because even though it's a lot of sweat, a lot of shit talking, a lot of trash talking, it is a lot of fun. It is. And uh, the next generation, I'm hoping people won't be so angry in life as they appear to have been because, let's face it, man, it has been a very, very, very trying time for everybody involved. And it, it, you know, I've been very, very fortunate. I've got a lot of family support, a lot of, a lot of friends and, and so forth. But with this pandemic... I have to say, the people that seem to cope the best out of all of it are the gamers. Gamers are like, what pandemic, what problems? And they've gone in there and they've just done, look, some of these UOV just got blown up. And they've just played it, you know? There's the, there's the Juggernaut taking us out. And they've played it and they've enjoyed it. And this game has had a lot of bugs, a lot of problems. They all will. And this game is very different from when it launched. It really is. Do I think it will die? No, I don't. I think the S&D on this one is very very good it's a very good version of search and destroy cyber attack that's some good game modes of course the war zone's going to keep it going um but i am looking for cold war looking forward to it i am more of a treyarch fanboy than i am <coughs> of infinity war but in saying that they've done all right considering the trying times you know like they have done all right now will i be a, a mainstream cod channel probably not because i'm not that great cod player i'm not that great like it took me six months to get good at this game Six months, and you know, mate, I'm not full of sweaty as others, but I enjoy it, and I think that's the important thing, and that's what everybody's got to do, is get out there, enjoy the games, enjoy these consoles, and keep it fun, you know, because if you keep it fun, you'll be surprised the people you meet, you know, you will. If you talk shit, you won't meet anybody good. You'll see other wankers and sore losers, not good winners. Okay. Philosophy, philosophy there. Changing new things, it's coming. So, um, the only thing I want to talk about is, I got, you saw the new logo, I got a new banner art. I'm going to try and get, make myself a new intro to my YouTube videos. I'm going to take time off in December, most of the month off, and I'm going to get more professional with the stream. All that kind of stuff is happening for the Wirebot. But my channel art, now when I do a video on that and talk about it, I'll promote who the individual was, how long I've known him for. He's from the States, at paid with PayPal, very professional, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it appears that he wasn't the issue. The issue was myself, and more importantly, was Google and uploading the banner art on my YouTube channel. Everything else was fine. The actual logo itself is the tit. I kid you not. I'm going to take it to the Archibald and say, you want to know about art, people? Check this. He's made my noggin look ugly, well, which is an ugly noggin. He made it look good. So I'm over the moon with the work he's done. I'm not going to tell you how much it is because it's different with different packages you've got. But because it's PayPal and his professionalism and the way it is, he is a lot better and cheaper than most other people you meet online, and he's very professional. I've seen his work, I've known his work for quite a while, and not to mention he's very, very respectful when it came to doing business with and so forth. So I will let you know who he is in time. Uh, next couple of weeks when I get the final logo, I'll do a talk about it. I'll talk about the whole story. It was a very easy experience compared to other people. And the reason I want to do a bit of a spill on it is one, to promote his channel, his, his page, but more importantly, to tell you the experience you go through and not to fall the traps like everybody else does, okay? You can try it yourself if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to make it pop and stand out a little bit more differently here and there, this is the way to go. And if I was going to get T-shirts made up, God forbid, or coffee mugs, this is the emblem I would use. And so I've changed it all, the banner and everything on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of it's been changed, and I'm over the moon. So if you, you know, I, I just there's going to be more stream from Wybot, and the new logo's in there, so I'm just getting more and more, as one would say, professional when it gets into it. Because it's been, I'm not going to lie, man, I keep on saying it before, but this year particularly for me, I have been nothing but flat chat. There's been a lot of emotional problems. I've been supporting a lot of people at my work. And I have very rarely had much time to put much effort into the stream. And when I do, I just want to stream and play for shits and gigs. It's always been a dream of mine. I want to get to 250 followers by the end of the year. I want my, my YouTube channels going off. And I don't know whether to keep on streaming on YouTube or Facebook or do both. I'm not too fast, but at the end of the day, I just want to stream and make YouTube videos because I absolutely enjoy it. So, you know, why was making some changes, peeps? He ain't going out dating as much as he has been this year. Too many people are meeting, too many mixed up. The grass is always greener. Messing with my head. Got to concentrate on the things that make me happy. And the thing that makes me happy, believe it or not, is streaming, gaming with my buds. It doesn't matter what type of game it is. It doesn't matter who we're really playing with, as long as they're respectful and good. And they're just, you know, I'll, I'll grow with them rather than, you know, lose by having him in the team. But at the end of the day, the Doc Clan, Ron and all those guys, everyone has followed and, and liked and followed my stream and so forth. I'm just so grateful for you because 
I'm not a regular streamer or hardcore streamer like other people, but and it is a big market to get in there. But any little support and like I get, I really appreciate. Frag and tag. So, as you can see, getting to the end of the onslaught here, I did very, very well in this game, which is why I recorded it. But you'll see more videos from me in the future. You'll see more streaming from me in the future in December. Stay tuned, people, because I'm going to go off like two frogs and half a sock. I know, it's such a big statement. But the Christmas nudes will be out. That's always a good time. And I just, you know, want to say... As always, you know, when it gets down, I'm pretty bad, man. Like, there's always somebody can help people. We're very lucky here in Australia, and we're across the globe. We're nowhere near as bad as other countries. Other countries are going back to lockdown. Victoria is coming out of, is coming more and more out of lockdown, and it appears that New South Wales and Australia particularly have done a lot better considering. So, you know, a little less negativity, more on the pornivity, more on the teabagging, frag and tab. Be good days, I know. You always keep it positive, and I look forward to seeing you in the next stream, people. As this video comes to the end, I hope you like the intro. Like, comment, follow, subscribe. You know all that stuff. Share and share. Preach the word. Be good to those that own you. Teabag when it's necessary. But at the end of the day, people, the new consoles are here. The new CODs are around the corner. It's a good time to be a gamer. And I think gamers dealt with the pandemic better than most other people. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. And I'll catch you effing mother mofos in the next Ybot video. See ya.